So Chase Brown is about to get his chance to be our future running back. Because that torn labrum we talked about last video, yeah, Zach Moss is out for two more weeks. So he was actually out for four weeks, but we had our bye week last week, so kind of helped us out a tad bit to, you know, prolong the process, or not quicken the process, is what I'm trying to say. And nonetheless, coming off our bye week, though, we got Levi Stadium. So we got to travel across the country again. I swear, it's amazing, the Bengals schedule. It's like, we go from Seattle back home, then back across the country again to San Francisco. Next week, I believe we play back at home. So it's like, across country, back home, cross country, back home. Shout out to that simple fact like that. Alright, first play, man. It kind of sucks for Chase Brown that the first game he's going against is the 49ers defensive line. It's like one of the best in the league. But, hey, listen. It is what it is. Shout out to right there, though, to T. Higgins for freaking making that block that allowed that to him to get open right there. Alright, Trent Irwin. Couple options I like here. And like I just said, Trent Irwin is the option I like there. Let's go. They're going to challenge that? Oh, uh, he was definitely in bounds. Yeah, I was about to say. I don't know why they challenged that. There was really no doubt. He even toe-tapped it, too. I guess they just don't want us to start off this game that hot right now. Especially not when Chase Brown is in the game. As a starting running back. Shout out to him for the three-yard catch. <laughs> okay, I'll put you. Anyway, though, um... I don't know if I love running the ball in this situation. Maybe? Okay. Yeah, no, it worked out a lot better than I thought it would. I was looking at the injury report. They don't have Trent Williams or Brent Ayuk. And we don't have Von Bell. Who I guess got hurt in Prasis. I freaking hate these Prasis injuries, man. I know I can turn them off, but they are realistic. Players do get hurt in Prasis and miss games, but... It just sucks when you when you go into a game, you don't have your starting freaking uh, strong safety because of the fact that he got hurt in, in between the week. Uh, it is what it is. I right, um, okay. Hold up. We got Evans and Trevion Williams in the backfield. We got Chase one on one with no safety help, which actually draws away a lot of pressure for Chris Evans. See, everything works in unison. Okay, so we're actually using three running backs here. Okay, so let's get Chris Evans the ball then. And the vulture, the goal line vulture? No, actually, surprisingly not. Kind of expecting him to, there to get a touchdown, but actually it looks like he set up Chase Brown for a perfect situation here to get a touchdown. So let's see, got Mike on a little bit of a move there. And 49ers defense actually doing a pretty damn good job. Um... Let's do that play, and let's see if I can do this. And, oh, damn, bro. See, I hate that. I hate that 49ers defensive line. They are freaking vicious. Um, all right. I'm not going to try to force Chase Brown to touch down here. We're good with the Drew Sample, and just have him run his way in. There is no way we could not score a touchdown there. Oh my lordy. Alright. Chase Brown. Let's just go, buddy. Be your second of the year. There we go. Barely got in, but we got a second touchdown of the year. Wow, that took way too long. I'm just happy we scored a touchdown last drive. <laughs> That's all I'll say at this point. I'm happy we scored a touchdown, and now I feel confident that you know, we can let our defense go to work, right? And we have momentum, too. We have our first bar momentum, so. We're getting there slowly but surely here, guys. So, second down and 12 here. I'm going to kind of play a little bit more. I mean, try to play a little more zone coverage. I know last game. No, actually, not last game. Two games ago, I played a lot of man coverage. And against the Cardinals, just because they didn't really have the greatest receivers of all time. This team, they got Debo, they got Kittle, they got Jennings, they got David Bell. A little bit more scary to go, you know, single coverage. Brock Purdy? Overrated? Wait, what? 
Why did he not just throw it to a wide open guy? Dude, right here, look. <clears throat> he literally has Debo Samuel wide open for first down and some. And he throws it away on fourth on third down. Okay. I mean, I'm not complaining like he throws it away. I, mean, I, I like the fact he threw it away, but like... Could have easily hit Debo for first down and some. Kind of remind me in a way of like that Matthew Stafford play where he could have had a first down like way back when he was the Lions. Could have had a first down, but he ended up running out of bounds like a, a yard before it because like he didn't want to take a hit or something. Kind of reminds you of that. Where it's like, bro, easily you could have had something good there and you just messed up. <sighs> Trent Brown got hurt. Fantastic. We are literally... Eight weeks into this season, and we already lost our starting right tackle. Orlando Brown got hurt last game, but thankfully he came back right away. Hopefully Trent's okay. All right, let's get it, boys. Second down and six here. Hit him with a little play action pass. I could have, I could have, I could have took. I could have took the risk and threw it to T. Higgins, but I feel like that would have been intercepted. I should have probably threw the T there, but I don't know. So, let's see. Who was open? I could have checked it down here to Trent Irwin, right? That's an option. T was open, but every time I throw these seven passes, it always gets intercepted. I could have thrown it deep one-on-one -on -one with Jamar Chase, or I could have thrown it away. Probably should have did one of those options. It is what it is. Now it's one-on-one -on -one with Jamar Chase. Hands, kind of. I thought he was going to be able to get that. All right, we got the punt. All right, let's put some pressure on Brock Purdy. Get some pressure on him, and we're going to have to start playing better on offense, though. Because that last drive was kind of pathetic. All right. Wide open, man. See, now he's not going to mess up. He's not going to mess up twice here. He's not going to mess up twice here and miss a wide open Debo Samuel. And that's really the problem. Like, you got that one play right there that's that biggest mistake of the game, and now we didn't capitalize off of it, which kind of sucks. All right, Colts beat Saints. Nice. Quick pass. George Kittle. All right, so if I do run man, I'm thinking about this, right? Because we have no Von Bell in the game, right? So we have no extra safety as a rotational piece. So if I run man coverage, Logan Wilson or Jermaine Pratt is one-on-one -on -one with, what's his name? With um, George Kittle, which is going to be a problem. And Sheldon Rankins gets hurt again? That's back-to-back -back games that he got hurt. Okay, well. Might not be the best free agent signing of all time right there. Because can't stay healthy, kind of can't help us. Alright, so we're going to have to use Jay in here as a rotation piece. Because Rankins, he's, he should be fine, but he's going to be out for a couple plays, so... We're just going to have to kind of take advantage of that. And freaking Mike Hilton. That's the one thing I will say from this franchise to the other franchise. Let me just double check. That's Mike Hilton, right? Yeah, it's Mike Hilton. Yeah, this from this franchise to the other franchise. Mike Hilton's really great in man coverage. But for some reason in Madden, he's not. And he gets hooked a lot in man coverage in Madden. Which is very frustrating at times. Because it's like, he shouldn't be getting cooked as much as he does. Alright. Just get a stop here, boys. Hold him to three, and we should be fine. That's really what I'm looking at now. Alright. Ah, oh, Logan, right? Guys. Guys. Tackling. Our biggest problem here is going to be if we cannot tackle in the red zone. Especially the red zone. Every other area, yeah, tackling, whatever... Red zone, most freaking important possible. And if you can't tackle here, that's when you'll lose game. Alright, two-minute warning, boys. Two-minute warning. Second and goal here. Come on. Let's get him off the field. Turn over here would be absolutely beautiful. Okay, McCaffrey. Bro, Logan Wilson. This is like the second game now where that man got thrown to the ground by an offensive player. What is going on in his life, bro? This man's getting thrown to the ground every single time in his life now. And that's how you make up for it. 
That is how you make up for it, Logan. Let's go, babe. All right, let's get it. Quick pass. Let's take advantage of this uh, free opportunity to not allow any points. All right, Chase. I want you to go deep, go to the outside, try to get a one-on-one. -on -one. See what that safety does. <clears throat> Good play, man. Fred Warner. When you got Fred Warner blitzing and you got freaking Nick Boza out there with, as you know, they don't have arms set anymore, but still, that's not fun to go against. All right. Trent Brown's not 100% because he got hurt earlier in the game. And Trenton freaking Irwin, baby. I love Trenton Irwin. Absolutely love this, man. I'm so happy we signed him back and brought him back. Because that was one guy that's like, we lost Tyler Boyd, which sucks. I love Tyler Boyd. But Trenton Irwin is just that utility knife, man. He can do everything. A little bit of everything at the end of the day. And there's a holding call. You got to be effing kidding me, bro. All right. First and 18 here after that. Uh... Very questionable holding call. Okay, Mike completely just off miscommunication, I guess, with Mike there. I don't know how that messed up as much as it did. All right. Check it down. Not bad, not bad. Uh, timeout, timeout. Play is smart. We got in the field goal range, which is good. Happy there. But we gotta play this smart. And Ah Joe Joe just tadly underthrew that. And it's because I didn't have my feet set. If I had my feet set, I don't think there would have been a problem. But I didn't get my feet set, which was the biggest issue there. Dang. Alright, second half, boys. And this is the most defensive battle game we have played all year so far. I don't know. It feels like our defense is doing so good. Their defense is getting the job done. I mean, we've only had three drives. This has been very long drives on both sides. It's weird. The It's always weird playing the 49ers because it's never usually like a high-scoring affair. It's never a back-and-forth type of game. It's always like a, you know, low-scoring, 10-9, to 10-6, to 6, stuff like that. So, let's just see, though. Christian McCaffrey, we got to shut him down here. Third and one. I probably should run commit, but, okay. Did not run commit. I was thinking about it there, but the chances are with how Madden works is they're play action you there and hit a free tutty in. At this point, giving up a first down is not worth the risk of giving up a free tutty. Especially not with how good this team can be. All right. Second down eight here, boys. Honestly, at this point, I just want to get the ball back and run the clock out. That is really just my goal at this point. And <clears throat> George Kittle, you know, if you could have done more stuff like that in the Super Bowl, Kittle, you know, maybe you would have won the game. Really hate the fact that Chiefs won. All right. Anyway, though, screen pass here. Ah, Hubbard, you're just too damn slow. <laughs> like, if Hubbard was even, like, one or two ticks faster, man... I would have actually been able to tackle Christian McCaffrey there. He's just, he's slow enough that it's annoying to see him, like, do that. And also, Russell Wilson. Holy crap. Okay. Guess he's getting the job done in Pittsburgh. Interesting. Uh, Saquon Barkley, 76 rushing, yard, uh, rushing yards and one touchdown in the game. So, Saquon's having a good day over there in... Uh, Philadelphia. You know, Philly lost. But he still had a good game. One in five Browns. Okay. I thought Jerry Judy would elevate their offense enough to help them. But I also don't know what's going on with uh, Deshaun Watson. Shout out to Sam Hubbard here. Knocking them out of field goal range. Absolute dumb. And now Chase Brown can win us this ball game. By actually just getting us some rushing yards. And running some clock off. He had seven rushes, 18 yards, and a touchdown. That's right. It's like, I love Chase Brown. But, man, after getting Zach Moss, it's it's going to be interesting to see how this year goes. Because Zach Moss is just, he's good. 
Like, I didn't realize how good he was, because I never used him in Madden. And obviously, in real life, he was really good last year before Jonathan Taylor came back. But I didn't realize how actually good the guy is. So um, it's going to be difficult to, you know, want Chase Brown in there if Zach Moss is doing what he does. But fantastic for us here, though. We went three and out. So this game's going to continue to linger. All right, defense. Let's just um continue being great, right? Let's continue being great. When, when did we last score a touchdown? Second quarter? First quarter? I feel like we haven't scored since, like, Literally the first quarter of this game. Which is, you know, credit to the defense, I will say. And also, Panthers versus Texans. Texans scored 41 points in that game. Oh, I don't want to play the Texans, man. And the sad part is, this is last year's schedule, so we play the Texans. But I really could avoid playing the Texans, and I would love that. <sighs> okay. You're going to have to play. All right, come on, boys. Three quarters, zero points allowed. That's right there. That's a defense that can win a Super Bowl. And that's without Von Bell. Without our, you know, our dominant strong safety there. I mean, Jordan Battle's still really great, but he's a younger guy. Without even our starting strong safety, zero points allowed in this game. Shout out to him, man. All right. I said shout out to him. Shout out to them. But... Let's see how this turns out because this is the second drive in a row that they're in the red zone. Last two, last time it came away with zero points. Let's see if they can do it again. Come on, Logan. Get another interception for us, buddy. Let's go. Quick pass. Okay, just make the tackles. Make the tackles. All right. First and goal here. Good thing is I don't think Purdy's going to run it himself, so I don't have to worry about that. What I'm actually more worried about is a screen pass. Which, obviously, so total offense, 196 yards today. That's actually not bad. Versus a team like the 49ers, who won the best in the league, it's actually not that horrendous. But a screen pass, though, is what I'm scared about. Because, you know, stopping Christian is the problem. And that's exactly what happens. Fantastic. Not a screen pass, but stopping Christian McCaffrey. All right. Well, uh, not going three and out again would be nice. <laughs> I'll say it like that. Man, Zach Moss. Uh, we get him back, what, two weeks from now? I'm ready for him back. I'm ready to have him back. Just get the running game going a little bit more. You know, get the, uh, uh, what's it called? Being able to move the ball down the field. Sorry, uh, I was trying to look for the read to T. Higgins as I was trying to talk. And it was just like, yeah, no, that did not work out in the end there. All right, let's go, boys. Chase, let's get you the ball again, buddy. Let's see. Let's see what can happen, man. What's the worst that can happen? I already know the worst, but still, right now, so far, we've had the worst, which is exactly that: zero yard gains. Now, for those who are Chase Brown fans, don't worry, because next week we have an easier matchup, and that should, you know, give Chase Brown another chance. To be the starting running back and hopefully having, you know, a better day. Alright, let's go. Third down and five here. Third down and five, baby. Um. Okay, just wait. Thank you, Mike. There we go. Perfect. Exactly what I needed right there. Exactly what I need. Just to wait. Get the football. And bam. First down. Ah, Mike. No, that's true. Drew, if you would have just blocked him, man, we could have had a first down. Okay. It's all good. Drew, just, you know. Next time in that situation, if you just want to block the guy. Love it, man. Would love it. All right. Play action pass. Go down. Go down. There we go. I didn't want to score a touchdown there because I don't want to give them a chance of the ball back and a chance to do something. Guys, I will see you at the player stat screen. We're just going to take the announce. Peace out. All right. Let's take a look at the player stat screen. So, Joe in that game, 188 yards, zero touchdowns, zero interceptions. Chase Brown's first game. He scored a touchdown. He did score a touchdown, which is good. That's pretty much the best thing there. One sack in that game, one interception. It was an interesting ball game. 
Very interesting. Guys, tell me down below your thoughts and opinions. I'll see you guys in the next one.